Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna learn about definite integrals and U substitution. In a previous video, we talked about how to solve definite integrals using the first fundamental theorem of calculus. But the question is, how can we use the fundamental theorem of calculus to solve integrals like this, where we need to reverse the chain rule? And the answer is U substitution. Let's look at some examples. Suppose we want to find the integral from zero to pi over four of secant squared x times e to the tan x dx. The first thing to notice is that secant squared x is the derivative of tangent x. That means we can use u substitution. So we'll let u equal tan x. That means du dx equals secant squared x. Then we can rearrange this to get dx equals du over secant squared x. Now we can start to rewrite the integral. Secant squared x times e to the u times du over secant squared x. And note the secant squared x's cancel out. And now the entire integral is in terms of u, but note that I've left the limits of integration as question marks. The original limits are zero to pi over four, but those are x values. So we need to convert these limits of integration into u values. And the way we'll do that is with a chart. We'll make an x u chart. Here I have x and u equals tangent x. I've placed zero and pi over four in the x column, and now we just need to solve for u. When x equals zero, u equals tan zero, which equals zero. And when x equals pi over four, u equals tangent pi over four, which equals one. So now we have the integral in terms of u only, the integral from zero to one of e to the u du. And the antiderivative is e to the u, which we'll evaluate from zero to one. Then we'll apply the fundamental theorem of calculus, and that gives us e to the one minus e to the zero, which is e minus one, and that's the final solution. Let's take a look at this graphically. The area under the curve of the original function, secant squared x times e to the tan x, is equivalent to the area under the curve of e to the u. What we've done algebraically is taken the original integral and converted it to another integral that's easier to solve by hand. Let's do another example. Find the integral from zero to two of x times the quantity of x squared plus one cubed dx. To solve this, let's let u equal x squared plus one. That means du dx equals two x. Then we'll rearrange this to get dx equals du over two x. Now we can make the substitutions into the integral and that gives us x times u cubed times du over two x. Then we can cross out the x's and we have the integral in terms of u only. But remember, we need to change the limits of integration. So we'll make a chart. x and u equals x squared plus one. Then we'll put zero and two in the x column and we'll determine u. When x equals zero, u equals one. And when x equals two, u equals five. And that gives us the integral that we need to solve. One half times the integral from one to five of u cubed du. Note that I moved the one half out of the integral because it's a constant multiplier. When we solve this, we get one half times u to the fourth over four, which we'll evaluate from one to five. And then if we apply the fundamental theorem of calculus, we get 78. Okay, time to pause the video and try these two problems on your own. Note that I've given you the final answers so that you can check to make sure that you've done the problems right. And now you know how to solve definite integrals with U substitution. And that's how you rock calculus.